It's an extreme form of resistance, the refusal to eat. And over the years, it's been used around the world. Now, more and more desperate Palestinian prisoners are closing their mouths as a last resort to regain their freedom, especially those being held in administrative detention without trial or charges. Mohammed el Kik has become the latest face of this resistance. After 93 days, he has only now agreed to end his hunger strike. The Palestinian journalist was arrested by Israeli forces for reportedly supporting Hamas, whom Israel regards as a terrorist organization. But no formal charges were brought against him. And his wife, Faya, who has been actively campaigning for his release, insists his arrest was illegal. Muhammad's story has inspired Palestinians to come out on the streets and sparked a debate on whether Israeli doctors could force feed hunger striking prisoners to save their lives even if it's against their will. Another face of the movement is Mohammed Alan, a suspected fighter who stopped eating last year in protest against his detention without trial by Israeli authorities. He eventually agreed to end his 67-day strike after a deal for his release was reached. But Professor Barilan, an Israeli specialist on medicine and ethics, says it's a cynical game played to achieve political ends. Either we go by uh, the will of law, or we let uh, violence or self-violence bend the hand uh, of the law. This is the culture of hunger strike that I wish the public rejects. Controversially, a law passed last year in Israel allows doctors to force feed people who are on hunger strikes. But it has not yet been enacted, and Israel's medical association has ordered doctors not to abide by it, calling it unethical and a violation of international conventions. Mohammed al kik is currently receiving treatment inside this hospital, but in a few months' time, he's going to exit these doors a free man. And Israeli authorities are going to grapple with what's fast becoming an effective form of protest. Michael Pluchak, Channel News Asia, Afula.